Karyotype refers to all the chromosomes in a genome, meaning 23 pairs of chromosomes or 46 in total. When the chromosomes are displayed in order of size, like you see on the screen, we call that a karyogram. Each pair of chromosomes has been inherited from our parents, meaning that one chromosome comes from the mother and the other from the father. Pairs 1 to 22 are referred to as autosomal chromosomes, meaning that they contain genes that are not responsible for determining the sex of the person. While each pair of the autosomal chromosomes came from different people, one from mom and the other from dad, they still have the same contents. In other words, they have the same types of genes in the same locations. The 23rd pair are referred to as the sex chromosomes, since this pair determines the sex of the individual. Boys inherit the Y chromosome from their father and the X chromosome from their mother, while girls inherit two X chromosomes, one from their mom and one from their dad. When reading a karyogram to check for genetic diseases, you want to check the number and shape of the chromosomes. An incorrect number of chromosomes is known as aneuploidy. Observing one chromosome instead of two is referred to as monosomy. Observing three chromosomes instead of two is referred to as trisomy. When checking the shape of the chromosome, you want to make sure that it's not too long nor too short, either of which could cause a disease. Let's walk through five of the more common genetic diseases which can be detected through karyotyping. 1. Down syndrome, which is caused by a third chromosome on pair 21. 2. Edwards syndrome, which is caused by the third chromosome on pair 18. 3. Patau syndrome, which is caused by a third chromosome on pair 13. Both Edwards and Patau syndrome are usually fatal. 4. Kleinfelter syndrome, which is caused by an additional X chromosome in boys and may cause slowed puberty and infertility. And 5. Turner syndrome, which is caused by a missing or damaged X chromosome in girls, causing heart and neck problems as well as a decrease in height. Please check out the sources below, especially Nicole Lantz is a fantastic YouTube educator that covers a lot of the same topics as my channel. If you want to learn more about Mendelian genetics, check out this playlist.